two point something or three million or three billion people who pass through this life without meeting a health professional in their lifetime. Mm. In this world, throughout the world, there are people with all the facilities go to the hospital. There are people who are just saying, I want to see a medical doctor. Anybody from the hospital can tell me what my problem is. There are people with hospitals who go to the hospital and say, which doctor am I seeing? I don't want to see that doctor. If that's the only doctor who is here, cancel my appointment, read book, and they go home. Do you know what other people in other parts of the world are going through? Ungratefulness is a sin before God. So God tells the children of Israel, how long am I going to put up with this evil generation? They are complaining. I have done things, but they don't want to believe. Verse 21. But truly, as long as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Verse 22. Because all these men who have seen my glory and the signs which I did in Egypt are now these ten times and have not heeded my voice. Verse 23. Numbers 14, 23. This is God telling them, tell the children of Israel, certainly they shall not see the promised land which I saw to their forefathers. Nor shall any of those who rejected me see it. They are not going to see it. Verse 24. But my servant Caleb, because he has a different spirit, he has a unique spirit, you need a different spirit. Where the hundred people at your place of work are complaining, have a different spirit like Caleb to say, I am not complaining. I am speaking the word of God. It is well with my soul. Twelve people are not smiling at your place of work. Keep smiling because you are a child of God. People say this and that. Keep enjoying the life. Why? Because God is faithful. Hear what the Bible says. Verse 24. But I said, Caleb, because he has a different spirit and he has followed me fully, I will bring him into the land where he went to see, and his descendants shall inherit it. Now the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwell in the valley and over there. And verse 26. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil generation? Verse 28. Said to them, as long as I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. What is going to do to the children of Israel? What, what did they say? say? What did they say? It's better off to go and die in Egypt. <laughs> we wish we had died in the wilderness. Did you bring us here because there were no graves where we were? People can say things. And God was hearing. When you are saying things, God hears you. He wants to do what you are saying. He tells the children of Israel, as they have said, so we lied too. He, remember what Jesus said in Matthew, uh, should be, uh, Matthew chapter 24, I think, uh, or 12, Matthew 12, uh, 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 when, when he said, uh, whatsoever you say, you shall have it, Mark 11. Whatsoever you say, if you don't doubt in your heart, you shall receive it. Mm -hmm. So these people that have said, we would have loved to die in the wilderness, like to come and die here in this land. Mm -hmm. And God simply concluded to say, anybody who spoke against them, they are not going to possess the land. Their bodies are going to lie down in this land and they will die. Did they die? Yes. Who went to possess the land? Those who were under the age of 20, Joshua and Caleb, they went in. Why? They were speaking the language of God. So I want to encourage you as we wind up. Speak to your situation. You say, Pastor, you don't understand my situation. Ezekiel 37, we have read that scripture again and again. The, the, the dry bones, the value of the dry bones. There are songs that have been written about the dry bones. You know the Bible says in Ezekiel 37, God took the prophet into the valley 
You know what the valley represents? The lowest point. No, you don't know what I'm going through. Yes, in fact, the best thing to do, if you are going through a hard time, don't say anything. You say things that you regret for the rest of your life. And the other moment that you need to keep quiet is when you are too excited. People promise things that they can never do. So he told Ezekiel, Ezekiel was a priest. But the priest is supposed to be in the high place worshiping God. But God takes him to the valley. And the theologians believe to say that might have been the valley where the Dead Sea is. And Dead Sea uh, is the lowest point on earth in Israel. It's about 420 below sea level. Lowest point. Have you been at your lowest point in life? What do you say when you are not feeling well? What do you say when people upset you? What do you say when everybody turns against you? When you read Ezekiel 87, God spoke to Ezekiel the prophet to say, Son of man, can these dry bones live? And Ezekiel, Professor, uh, Ezekiel says, the bones were very dry. God did not say, I am bringing these bones back to life. He says, you, yourself as a prophet, I am putting words into your mouth. Speak to the bones. Speak to the bones. What bones are you facing today? Which challenge are you facing today? Speak to that dead bones. Speak to that dead situation. We need to speak to those bones. Let's all stand as we pray and believe God. Hallelujah. Language, the word that you speak as we begin the new month. What is your language? Are you at the lowest point in life? Is everything turning against you? As the doctors announce something uh, terrible to you, in your dry bones, in the valley of dry bones, what do you say? What are you speaking? When children maybe are not doing things the way you wanted them to, what are you speaking? Speak to them. You're going to preach the word of God one day. Come back home, drunk, they insulting you. Speak to them. You are a prophet. You are a prophetess. You're going to speak the word of God. You make it in life. Nothing evil shall come near you. Amen. Amen. Every eye closed. Just where you are. What have you been speaking? Which words have you been using? There is life and death in the way we speak. You need to speak the way God speaks. Does God respect my words? Yes, we have just read in Numbers. He says, tell the children of Israel, I will do to them according to how and what they have said. And they all died in the wilderness. Only those who were young and Caleb and Joshua went to possess the land. Do you want to possess your promised land? Speak good. Speak the language of God. Pastor, I'm sick, I'm dying. No, you are not dying. What does the Bible say? Let the wind say, I am strong. What does the Isaiah say to the sea? Jesus came. He was beaten. He was stricken for our transgression. He took our sicknesses. He took our infirmities. Let the poor say, I am rich. Why? Because Jesus became poor on the cross. Hallelujah. Whatever situation you are going through, whatever mountain you are facing, you might be at the lowest point in the valley. But David, what does David say in Psalms 23? The Lord is my shepherd. Though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? The Lord God is with me. God is with you even in that valley. Yes, people might have laughed at you. We may have uh, spoken evil things. We might have done things and we are paid for what we said. But we can do a good service to ourselves by coming back to the word of God. Align yourself to the word of God. Say what God is saying. Adam was given a task. Name every animal. Whatever you call it, it shall be. What are you calling things? Call them the way God calls them. I am a blessed man. I am a blessed woman. My family shall not know lack. While the Lord is my provider. Paul tells the 
Philippians. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. I say rejoice. The man who is writing these things is in prison, in chains. But he says rejoice. Again I say rejoice. Jesus arrives at the funeral house. And he tells them, this girl is not dead. She is sleeping. The professional mourners were laughing at him. We know who is sleeping and who is dead. And Jesus says, send them away. Send them out of the building. He goes in with few disciples. He touches the girl. Talika Kumi. Rise up, young girl. She rose up. Gave her back to the mother and the father. Focus on the situation. What situation are you going through? How has been your words from January to August? Don't worry. If you were negative from January to August, it's all gone. Speak the language of God. Be a Caleb of this generation. Be a Joshua of this generation. The Lord promised us this land. is giving us this land. Yes, they are giants, but they are like bread for the morning breakfast. We're going to eat them and destroy them in Jesus' name. Father, right now, I pray. The words you have spoken to each one of us, I pray as we continue to hear your word, may you touch our lives. May you touch our families. Our families are blessed. The poverty that our forefathers experienced ended with a generation before us. As for me and for myself, my children are going forward. We are going to make it in life. In the name of Jesus. None of my children will fail exams. None of my children shall be attacked of the enemy. Because I'm protected by the blood. The blood of Jesus. These people, as they hear your word, mind God, they are blessed. And they are blessed beyond measure. And they shall do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever imagine or think of. No eye has seen what you are about to do through. Father, I speak a blessing upon your people. These are special people. They are blessed because they are hearing your word. They are going to do great things in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Even as we partake of the embrace, we pray that mighty God, as we drink the drink, which represents the blood, the blood of Jesus, every impurity in our system, is going to be flushed out. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. As we partake of the bread, mm. is the bread of life, mm. who is Jesus Christ. Mm. It's going to give us strength mm. to do great work yes. for the Lord mm. and for our generation. Yes. Mighty God, we are the Nehemiahs of this generation. Yes. We are going to rebuild the broken walls. <coughs> we are going to build a generation yes. in the mighty name. As you come forward, I will invite uh, Deaconess uh, to come.